Hello, my friends, family, and esteemed colleagues. I was asked to address uh, scrotum pain. And the question was about a teenager. Well, testicular pain or pain in a scrotum could come from a variety of causes. One of them basically could be a twisted duct, sperm duct. may lead to inflammation. There could be a cyst buildup of liquid. There could be, they say, infection. Actually, it's inflammation. It does not have to be infection, and usually is not. It's just inflammation. And could be also a scrotal hernia. Okay, that you make the hernia and part of the intestines seeps down and the pain is in that area and you just don't know exactly, just the whole thing hurts. Now yes, we can talk about everything separately, but there is no need for it. Uh, yes, you, you want to have it checked to see exactly what's happening because if it's hernia, in this case, if intestine is down, it has to be actually pulled up. And hernia probably would have to be closed. But then again, healing has to take place. Now, what is causing every one of these problems? Well, they would not happen if we are healthy. So, we have a problem. And what is the problem? Well, those of you who are following my work, you know right away, it's a toxic blood. Young people do not take care of themselves. And they eat all kinds of a junk. And they are very toxic. Plus. If you check on internet, all the recommendation, it's all wrong. And people are not moving much around. Kids are behind the cell phones, behind computers. It's all becoming virtual. So, they eat all kinds of stuff, usually fast food, stuff with a lot of color in it. It's all very toxic. They drink sugary drinks. Well, it's not only the sugar. They have caffeine in there. All the energy stuff, energy boosters. It's all based on sugar and caffeine. Toxic stuff. So what happens? they become low on plasma. The blood is becoming dense and toxic. Cannot be cleaned. It's all the same stuff that's happening with all these so-called diseases. Those are health issues that show that there is a problem with the robot and it's always the same crap. It's dehydration and wrong fuel, and poisoning, systematic poisoning. Sped up through jabs, bypassing the natural immune systems. So, what happens, especially now with this internet, there is uh, all kinds of stuff available, you know, when I was growing up, seeing a picture of a naked woman was not so easy. Now, computers, you can see anything you want, whenever you want. And kids, they go at it, they masturbate. 
No? Nothing wrong with masturbation. Three, four times, five times a day, nothing wrong with it. If your blood is clean, if you are well hydrated, no problem. But once when the blood is toxic, remember, cells do not want to hydrate with the stuff. And the organ that you use a lot, that is very busy, is going to be forced, well, more toxic blood comes there. And the cells become toxic quicker than in the rest of the body. And they dehydrate, they lose flexibility, the whole tissue shrinks, hernia opens up, There is not proper tension, very easy to twist the testicle. And since blood is toxic, very often we may have this toxic plasma accumulating which causes the cyst. So, this is your question how to deal, how to prevent it. Well, change the diet and hydrate, so this way you clean the blood and your tissue works properly and then there is a, always supply of fresh plasma, cleansing going on, no problem. But if this is not possible because blood is toxic, well, you run in problems. Every time there is a swelling, it starts with itchiness and turns into pain as the pressure on sensory nerve increases. Something gets twisted, it creates pressure on blood vessels, increasing arterial pressure. So, even through twisted thing and squeezed artery, it's still blood goes in, but a squeezed vein, bang! Oh! more difficult you have to build up the back pressure inside of the tissue swelling pain so it's a simple stuff anyone I'm not talking about teenagers only anyone this happened to grown-ups too I mean if you are reasonably healthy you remain sexually active until you die. And uh, if the, the blood is toxic and more it is toxic, the more problems come. Where does a prostate problem come? Toxic blood. So, it's the same thing. Just depends which area gets affected. Of course, kids, if they are active, if they play sports, you may get hit. This is trauma. Respond to trauma. Again, remember, pain comes, you are hit. What happens? You squeeze. You go in defense mode. Well, cells squeeze. Toxicity increases. And then area which was injured requires faster blood circulation for reparation, to cleanse the place, to cool it down. Toxic blood comes, cannot do the job. So it turns into chronic problem. Always think simple. Go from the, your car stops. Before it stopped on a highway, it made a couple hiccups. Tut, 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 mm, tut, 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 mm, and stops. Well, you are not going to call mechanic. You're going to check your fuel. Okay. The simple thing first. And 
with human body, animal body the same. It's always the hydration. Body has to be able to cleanse. It cannot cleanse unless it's hydrated. It cannot hydrate with water because it needs minerals. Body does not hold water, it holds plasma. Water with minerals. So, if you drink larger amounts of water, let's say four liters or five liters water a day, pure water, especially distilled water, well, you're going to be dehydrated. And you bring yourself in a very particular situation where electrolytic conductivity is going to drop, you can die. But you can drink as much plasma, as much water with sea salt as you can. Now why I say sea salt? Why I just, just don't say salt? Because table salt is purposefully poisoned. When they put iodine in it, it's potassium iodine. Your body cannot use it, cannot even penetrate. And the salt is bleached. I'm being asked questions. Well, what would happen if I use the wrong salt by mistake and I'm hydrating? Would I have a problem with the heart, with blood pressure? No, you're going to have problem with digestion first. You will see, you will feel with heavy stomach and nausea. Because again, body wants to expel the toxins out through mucosal tissue, accumulate in the stomach and give you nausea. You want to vomit, give you diarrhea. This is a first sign that the salt you are taking is toxic. Blood pressure does not increase with salt. Doesn't matter what salt you take. It has nothing to do about salt. It's all about cellular, deter cellular deterioration or mind because fear speeds up your heart. Faster heartbeat, higher blood pressure, like doing sports. You do sports, your blood pressure goes up. So keep that in mind. Sea salt is ultimately the best salt especially for healing, because you have all the minerals there. But it rejects what it doesn't need, and while it's throwing this stuff out, it cleanses the rest of the blood. There's no problem. But it's important that salt comes with water, and, and then body will retain the minerals that it needs. So, we never have too much of monatomic gold, iridium, rhodium, because that trace minerals in the seawater, but you drink plenty of it, well, you will get it. And you eliminate sodium chloride, and you eliminate magnesium and whatever, because you get plenty of it, you don't need that much as you get. Well, not big deal. But people, not only teenagers, not only kids, everybody should be conscious of their hydration. And again, not with water, with plasma. Okay, we have plasma, we have different cache plasma. No, we have all kinds of plasmas. Plasma is ionized matter. And blood, uh, water you can ionize in a variety of way, ways. What Kesha does, ionizing it through GANS, just changing actually geometric structure of water and making it conductive. Same like so-called carbon, it can be isolator, electric isolator, and it can be highly conductive electromagnetic element depending in what geometric shape it gets there. Is it just coal or is it 
graphite. It's all carbon. Okay, my friends. So, you want to masturbate? Make sure your blood is clean, and then there is no problem. Love you all.